disaster. I think he'll hurt the country and we'll lose in a landslide. But I will still pledge to support the nominee because uh, I think Hillary Clinton uh, is the worst person on the planet to run the country. And I think the emails have cemented the notion that she has bad judgment. How could we have Tea Party conservatives in our country think that somehow Donald Trump's going to help us? He's the consummate insider. What's wrong with Washington? People buying and selling politicians. What's Donald Trump known for? Buying and selling politicians. All right, that was Kentucky Senator Rand Paul going after his Republican rival, Donald Trump. And joining us now to explain 2016 Republican presidential candidate Senator Rand Paul. 32% in the latest poll. I noticed both you and Ben Carson and Carly Fiorina and Jeb Bush. You, you guys are now punching yeah. hard against Trump. Is this a preview of coming attractions for next week? Well, you know, I think there's a celebrity factor going on, but I think once people know who he is as a person and that he's been on the wrong side of so many conservative issues for so many years, you know, I got involved in politics through the Tea Party, and we were upset about fake conservatives, Republicans who said they were conservative, but then really weren't so. One of the big issues back then was the bank bailouts and the government stimulus. Well, Trump was for both of them. And Trump has been for raising taxes. Trump has been for using eminent domain to take property from small property owners to give it to big business. So, no, I don't really think there's anything conservative about him. And I think he's selling us a bill of goods. And so I think we need to be very careful that we don't succumb to celebrity and all of a sudden get a fake conservative that turns out to be a big so government you, you, Republican. You, so you think of the 32 percent that support him in this most recent poll that we, we put on the screen tonight that they're being bamboozled and you don't think a lot of this is maybe rooted in the fact that I would separate you and I would separate you know somebody like Ted Cruz um, as people that are against the establishment but I think the Republicans in many ways have earned the contempt of conservatives. Do you not agree with that? Yeah, and, and I think that he's tapping into dissatisfaction with Washington, the same dissatisfaction that caused me to run, frankly, and causes me still to be upset that we're borrowing a million dollars a minute up here. But what people haven't quite come to grips with yet, and they don't know yet about Donald Trump, is that he's not a conservative, that he believes in using the government, the bully force of government, to take property from a small property owner and give it to a big business like himself, that he has been for a single-payer health care system like Obamacare, that he's been for abortion before he was against it. So I think once people know that, they will say, well, gosh, yeah, I like the way he's angry at Washington, but now I've discovered that he's not you know, really I've conservative. Asked him, every one of those questions that you just brought up, I have asked him. And, and for example, he, he supports health care savings accounts. I know his comments about single payer. I asked him about his one time support of a tax on the wealthy. Uh, he explained it. He says where he stands now. Are you saying that you just don't like the fact that he's changed his position? You don't believe that he's a conservative now? Or that I don't, uh, yeah, I don't believe I don't believe that he's a conservative, but I really have no idea what he believes in, yeah. because he's been on both sides of every issue. As an adult, most of his adult life, he's been a progressive Democrat. He has had a realization that he has a better chance in the Republican Party. Right. So I believe he's pretending to be conservative, because of this sort of desire to be all things Trump, all things to all people. But I don't believe it's genuine or sincere. All right, I want to ask about the Syrian refugee crisis. I mean, some 400,000 men, we see what it's doing to Europe. The president now is taking in, or at least at least 10,000, probably more. Senator Lindsey Graham said the U.S. should take in its, quote, fair share of Syrian refugees, or he said we should take the Statue of Liberty and tear it down. Do you think that's a good idea? And, and how do you ascertain those that are sincere refugees from those that might be affiliated with ISIS or Al Qaeda? You know, I'm all for helping those who are in desperate need. In fact, I've been trying to support Glenn Beck's thing, Project Nazarene, to help Christians out of the Middle East. But the thing is, is that we do have to be careful. I read in the newspaper one young man that had just left Af Afghanistan within the last few weeks. He was 19 years old, and all he had for identification was political asylum from Hungary. No preceding documents, no passport, and this is a... Well, it's a terrible humanitarian crisis. It's also a recipe for disaster if tens of thousands of people so will you who take want to attack people in us. Or not? 
I would be very, very careful. Even of the 60,000 Iraqis that came over here after the war, some of them, even in my little town, Bowling Green, Kentucky, have tried to attack us. So I think we have to be very, very careful. And in some ways, we have to try to not create or be part of such a mess that allows disaster and famine to continue over there. All right. Thank you, Senator Rempaul. Appreciate it. When we come